Greetings class, I'm here again. This is Dr. J and I wanted to just cover a few things in terms of the assignments required for our class together. I have to tell you, I really love teaching psychopathology for Letourneau, but I also really like teaching research methods. Research methods are just exciting. It's looking at a problem and trying to solve it. And what's more important, you get to exercise a great deal of creativity. But while we are exploring that creativity, there are a few specific assignments that we need to address so that you are not uncomfortable. First of all, for week one, there is an analysis of journal articles. While the specs are clearly laid out, in your syllabus. I want you to know some things that I think are really important about those journal articles. First of all, you need to identify the independent and dependent variables. I often call those the IVs, independent variables, and the dependent DVs. So look at those and clearly identify them. You might even get them a little mixed up to start with. That's okay. We'll straighten them out together. Also, state the author's goals. What did the author want to accomplish? And state them in your own words. Talk about the hypotheses. What did the author do? In fact, you'll find a lot of that in the methods section of the article. Describe specifically what the research design was. How was it used in the study? And then discuss the results. Above all, whether or not you believe the findings support the author's hypotheses and provide a brief discussion as to what you think the findings as to whether or not or if they were supported. That does not mean by just saying, oh, well, I agree with the author. You need to back it up. What did the author do to find the, the results that he or she did? And how did they arrive at them? Were they ethical? Were they appropriate? Was the design appropriate for the study? What about the discussion questions? So there's a lot to uncover and explore. The paper itself should not be simply an answer to each of the points that we have listed in the syllabus. Rather, again, think out of the box. Integrate your answers into some cohesive short paper describing the study and its findings. Each journal article is worth 25 points, and each individual question is worth 5 points. And that is a total of 50 points for this particular assignment. In week two through seven, you're going to work on a research proposal. One of the things that I really like about the design of this course is that it's gradual. We're not asking you to put together a research proposal without doing it in stages first. So what you're going to be doing in the first section is that you will include a discussion of the topic and an outline. In week three, you're going to talk about the references. In week four, your research proposal will include the introduction and the references. In week five, the research proposal will include an introduction, the methods section, and the references. By week six, the research proposal includes the introduction, methods, and references. And finally, at week seven, the research proposal should have everything that APA requires, including a title page, abstract, introduction, the methods, results, discussion, and references. Again, let me repeat, by week seven, that research proposal includes the title page, APA, an abstract, APA. And remember, an abstract is a summary of results. It is not a summary 
of what you will do in terms of a thesis. In addition, an abstract doesn't include any kind of resources in it. It simply states the results. If you look in the resources section of the discussion board, you will find that I have placed a wonderful handout for you to help you with that and how to write an abstract. Again, your introduction, methods, results, a discussion, and references will follow on that final seven, seventh week page or seventh week assignment. Now, the purpose of the project is to confirm that you have acquired enough research skills sufficient to design a meaningful research project on your own and that you can communicate it well. Yes, that's a challenge, but if you work each week with each of those particular questions that are also very challenging on the discussion board, you shouldn't have any problem. That is again what is so wonderful about this course. It is an increment, gradual building, each week, each week, each week. Also, take advantage of the resources and how those can help you. So, you will learn how to collect data. You will learn how to understand what that means. You will also have the opportunity to design the project that would require resources. And that you will also spend some time like working through those resources. And so that you have a project that is complete at the end. Although you may not talk with other students about your project, you may want to. And in fact, you must make all the decisions and all of the work for your project on your own. You may choose any research design covered in this course. Do not feel pressured to choose the most complicated design. Simple means getting a good grade, and completing the course successfully. You can graduate to more complicated designs as you get more comfortable. Instead, choose what you think is the best design that fits your hypothesis. And guess what? That design will permeate out of the literature that you read. Your research proposal paper will also include all the sections of a standard APA research report. Let me repeat that. Your research proposal paper will include all of the sections of a standard APA research report. And I just gave you that. Title page, abstract, introduction, method section, results, the discussion, and references. Once you put all that information together, you can actually review to make sure you've got it correctly done by going to the American Psychological Association Publication Manual. You can see the research proposal document in the course resources section on Blackboard as well. And of course, I have already provided handouts for you in the resources section for your assistance. What also is important is Depending on what particular questions arise from our discussions together, oh, I just may add a few more handouts to help you out. The point of this particular class is to prepare you. Oh, it may seem overwhelming at times, but it is a fabulous class. And is it ever exciting? Yes, I said it's exciting. So, if you have questions early on, feel free to ask. I am available either by email or you can contact me on the discussion board under the instructors section and I'll be right there to assist as best that I can. If for some reason I don't get back to you, then make sure you get back with me. Ask that question again. Sometimes technical glitches occur and I would hate to have you be without information that you really need. For now, I look forward to working with you on the discussion board, and I also hope that you will find this class extremely meaningful. Again, happy to have you on board. 
and let me know if you have questions. See you on the discussion board. Bye.